Hi everyone and welcome to Sports Watch. If you like the content, please press the bell icon for further notifications and like, share and subscribe to the channel. Israel Adesanya is back and is looking huge ahead of his title fight with Rigas Duplessis. Izzy had been out of the ring for almost a year. The last time he fought was in September 2023 against Sean Strickland in Sydney where he lost his middleweight title. It was twice in three fights that he had lost the belt. So he decided to take a step back from the game and rest and recuperate and come back refreshed. He has been fighting twice, sometimes even three times a year. for the last couple of years he had almost cleared out the middleweight division and had even managed to get a win over his arch nemesis alex pereira that was a huge weight off his back but then came the loss to sean strickland hence the time off but the time off has kind of benefited him as he has got himself in line for another title shot he can become a three time middleweight champion despite losing the belt in his last fight now arisania is one of the smartest fighters in the ufc he knows in order to stay on top he has to evolve so in his time off he has obviously put on a bit of muscle and has been doing rigorous weight training Perhaps it's all aligned for a greater plan for the future. He has also been working on his wrestling and jiu-jitsu. He has been working with Damian Maya in the lead up to the fight against Rickus Duplessy. Duplessy has an awkward style and it's no secret that he will wrestle with Izzy at some point of time in the fight. On the feet, Izzy is going to be too sharp. So Drickus' path to victory goes through taking Izzy down. He knows it. Izzy knows it. The whole world knows it. Now the whole point of putting on some extra muscle, working with Damian Maya, is to avoid getting stuck on the ground. In his fight with Jan Blahovitz, Arisania got taken down by the bigger man and he got held down there. that secured victory for yan drickus like alex pereira is a big middleweight he will come into the fight weighing at around 220 pounds for sure that would easily be 20 pounds over easy so if he takes adesanya down the top pressure is going to be a thing of concern so israel has worked probably on his most on his wrestling this is also because some of the fights in the future as well if he is victorious and shimaev beats viteka then it's a no brainer that it will be easy versus hamzat for the belt and hamzat will wrestle with him so arisania has looked to the future and planted the seeds now all that he needs is a victory over drickus The bad blood is there. Both were training partners once. Both hail from Africa. So it's going to be about bragging rights in a way. Stylistically, Drickus is an awkward matchup because he mixes things up really well. But where it gets really interesting is the fact that he is very much hitable. Darren Till was outstriking him for two rounds before Duplessis submitted him. Till is no where the striker Arisania is and Duplessis can be flat-footed at times. So Arisania can very well pick him apart standing. It is here where the wrestling of Drickus comes into play. Duplessy isn't a great wrestler but he uses his MMA wrestling very well. And what's most important 
is Drikas Duplessis usually finds a way to end his fights. He can go for submissions. He can knock someone out as well. But given the elusive style of Arisania, it's going to be highly doubtful that Drikas could land a clean shot on him. It's fight week and the press conference is bound to be electric. Who gets his hands raised on Saturday? Will it be Israel Arisania or will it be Drikas Duplessis? Let me know in the comment section what you feel. And if you like the content, please like, share and subscribe to the channel.